Hi everybody, today is February 1st, 2013. Well, here's another example of a hypocrite. Sylvester Stallone supports assault weapon ban. Sylvester Stallone says that despite his Rambo image and new shoot 'em up film called Bullet to the Head, he's in favor of a new national gun control legislation. Stallone supported the 1994 Brady Bill, then included a now expired ban on assault weapons in hopes that the ban can be reinstated. I know people get upset and go, they're going to take away the assault weapons. Who needs an assault weapon? Like really, unless you're carrying out an assault, you can't hunt with it. Who's going to attack your house? An army? I guess he used a bad word. It's called recreation. You know, maybe people like to go out and target practice. The 66-year-old actor, writer, and director said he also hopes for an additional focus on mental health to prevent future mass shootings. You know, the good guys give up their guns. That doesn't mean the bad guys are. An example, look at Chicago. It has one of the strongest, strictest, gun-restricted laws anywhere in the country, and they have the highest death rate. You know why? Because the bad guys have the guns. It's unbelievably horrible what's happened. I think the biggest problem, seriously, is not so much guns. It's that every one of these people that have done these things in the past 30 years are frigging crazy. Really crazy. And that's where they've dropped the ball. Mental health, he said. That, to me, is our biggest problem in the future, is insanity coupled with isolation. Stallone now in production on his next project, pairing up with former Raging Bull Robert De Niro for grudge match, about two aging boxers. People think it's going to be some geezer brawl. Really? Okay. They're in for a surprise. I've been working on the fight, the choreography. He's taking it deadly serious because no one wants to be shown up, Stallone said of De Niro. It's going to be like a Rocky fight. This will be Rocky 7 with me fighting with Rocky fighting the Raging Bull. What they need to do is arm our schools. You know, it's got to be a point where rent-a-cop is a big joke because they don't carry weapons. It's up to us to protect our families. You know, the cops are not there to protect you. They only show up after the fact. Example, restraining order. Restraining order doesn't put a policeman outside your house, your work, your school. No, a restraining order is if that person violates it after they've already violated it. After they already come in contact with you, then they can be thrown in jail. Just hoping when they violate the restraining order, you're not injured in the process. But what do you do if they threaten you? Um, have them stand there and ask them to wait while you dial 911 and wait 45 minutes or longer for the police to show up? All right, bookmark my site. I'll keep everyone up to date. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.